Hello, uh, this is a first look at an integration between Seed Code Complete and QuickBooks. We're going to be looking at two files today. Um, of course, on the FileMaker side, we're going to be looking at Seed Code Complete. And on the QuickBooks side, we're going to be looking at one of their sample files called Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply. So let's start over on the seed code side um, on our settings tab and there's a few things we need to do uh, to get this up and running. The first is we need to associate our staff members um, with QuickBooks um, and assign them the ability to be QuickBooks users and give them a plug-in license for the FM Books connector which is required for this integration. So I've set up a staff member here for myself called QuickBooks user. I've associated them with the admin account, which I'm already logged in as. Um, so if I check this checkbox, it gives me a little dialog box where I can paste in my FM Books Connector plugin license. And now I'm set up as a QuickBooks user. So when the opening routine runs, it will register the plugin and mark me as a QuickBooks user, and then I'm authorized to use the plugin. So we'll head back over to our settings tab. We've set up our staff members. The other thing we want to take care of here in settings is our items area. If we're going to be posting invoices to QuickBooks from Seed Code Complete, then the line items need to be associated with an item that already exists in QuickBooks. Um, so there's a couple of ways we can deal with that. The first is I'm going to create a value list based on the items that exist in QuickBooks. And I'm going to do that by hitting this button. This runs a little query um, on QuickBooks using the plugin and returns all of the items. And it's telling me that it's got 41 items. So now I can use this value list to associate my items with a QuickBooks item. And let's do that. We're going to say this is this one, that is that one. Um, let's put a service one on here and uh, some other charge permits. So I can do it that way. I can also just import all of the QuickBooks items themselves as items in Seed Code Complete. And this may be a good solution for a lot of people's setup. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to hit this button here. Again, it's going to query QuickBooks really quickly and then create the items in my items table. And it's also going to bring over any appropriate information, whether the item is taxable or not. Um, if it's an inventory item and what the current on hand values are. So that's kind of a nice, uh, nice little feature. So now we're going to go over to companies and we're going to look at posting customers or creating customers in QuickBooks from uh, Seed Code. So here's our company section and you see we now have a QuickBooks tab. And I have two options here. I can either create a new customer in QuickBooks or if I believe the customer already exists in QuickBooks, I can associate my seed code record with that QuickBooks record. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up and see if Russell's already in there. And when I hit that button, it brings up a little query window. I'm going to put Russell, Russell Chiropractic, but this is hardware, so um, I didn't find him. So I know I can go ahead and now create this customer in QuickBooks. And to do that, I'm just going to hit this button here. Although first, I'm going to assign QuickBooks terms to this uh, customer. I want to make sure that terms get associated with the customer in QuickBooks as soon as they're created. So just like I did with the items, I can quickly hit this button and create a value list based on QuickBooks data so I know when I create this customer in QuickBooks, the terms will be correct. So it said it uh, seven terms successful. Now if I check the value list, we see that it's working. I'm going to go ahead and give them net 30. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the customer in QuickBooks. Yes, I do. And we see that it returns a QuickBooks list ID, which is their primary key. And it also gave me a time of when this was synced or created. And if I jump over here to QuickBooks to their uh, customer section, we see there's Russell Builders and Hardware um, with the appropriate information that was in FileMaker. So that is posting a customer from a company record. 
Now, I also want to show you this lookup feature and how that can be useful. We're going to jump over here to Apple. And I know that Apple already exists in QuickBooks. I've been doing business with them for years. <laughs> so I'm going to look up the QuickBooks customer. And I'm going to type in Apple. And there they are. I'm going to go ahead and select them and hit continue. And we see that it assigns their list ID and also uh, gives me a timestamp of when I created this sync. So now any transactions that are associated with Apple and seed code will be posted correctly to uh, QuickBooks. So let's jump back over here to Russell and we can look at contacts here and we're going to look at SE Vale because I may also want to create a customer out of SE Vale, even though she's a associated with Russell Builders and Hardware, you know, it may be a situation where I'm doing business with Russell, but I'm also doing business directly with S uh, excuse me, Essie. So I have the same options here. I can create her as a customer as well. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Give her net 30 and create the customer in QuickBooks. Yes, please. And uh, there's her list ID and everything. And again, if we go back over to the customer section, uh, there she is and posted all of our contact information that we had mapped on the seed code side. So the other thing we're going to look at now is we have projects in seed code complete and we can create those as jobs in QuickBooks. So here's a project. I'm going to go ahead and drill down to that. And we see that this project is associated with both SE and Russell Builders. So when I go to create the project as a job in QuickBooks, I need to select who I want to associate it with because all jobs created in QuickBooks have to have a customer as the parent. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and associate her with Russell Builders. And I'm going to go ahead and create the job in QuickBooks. Yes, please. And here's my list ID. And if I jump over here, we see we have the Russell Builders. And here's the job that's associated with it. And that's how the hierarchy between um, customers and jobs looks in QuickBooks. So that's excellent. So the last thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at invoicing. And in this situation, we have an invoice that's associated with this project. And I'm going to go ahead and jump over there. Look at this invoice. Um, I've already basically got it set up and you see we have a QuickBooks tab here as well. And we have some other fields that we typically are going to want to make sure that um, get created when we create an invoice in QuickBooks. And all of these have the ability to be based on a value list as well. So the tax code is a typical one, accounts receivable, um, we probably want to give this invoice a class, a QuickBooks class. And also, which template do we want to use um, in QuickBooks? And then typically, we want to make sure that the invoice is designated to be printed when it's created there. Now, since this invoice is associated with a project, a company, two customers basically, one a company and one a contact, we could conceivably post this invoice to either one of those, and um, we have the option to do so. In this case, we're going to go ahead and post it to the project, which will be the job in QuickBooks. I've got all this information filled out. I'm going to go ahead and post the invoice to QuickBooks. We see we get a transaction ID. And one of the nice things, um, the way the FM Books Connector plugin works, is that you can actually open a QuickBooks transaction from uh, FileMaker or Seed Code Complete by clicking on that little link. So here's our invoice. And we see that it's been associated with the project ICFD or the job. And of course, that rolls up to the ultimate customer, who's Russell um, Builders and Hardware, and that our information uh, came over correctly from QuickBooks. So pretty good stuff. Um, and thanks a lot.